Alright friends, welcome back to another episode of our Spirit Fair Let's Play. In the previous episode, we met the lion, or lioness, I guess. The, uh, the people's champ. The one in charge of the uh, leaders, the workers' rebellion at Bottom Line Corp. Uh, looks like we can buy seats. Something else. What is that? Olga? I think we should go meet Olga. Uh, I do need to go over there, but I think I need the ice thing for that. I suppose I could use the bus. Go get that, but I want to go talk to Olga. I don't know who that is, but we should find out. Oh no, that's uh... That's our lion friend's friend. Let us wake everybody up. It's uh, rise and shine time, dude. Nice. We got some rice. Wait a minute, let me plant seeds while it's raining. Oh, it's gonna be the, the lightning thing. One second, my tool. Quick! Lightning storm! Yeah! We gotta go up to the highest point, which I think is up here. Oh no, it's over here. Summer's house. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, double that time. No, I missed one. It's, they're on different levels this time. It used to be just the highest one. Oh no! We're wasting them. Summer must be having a fit in there. <laughs> I know I would be if lightning was striking in front of my house like that. I like I like thunder and lightning and everything. Like it's cool, but it's a little spooky to have her that close. One time, let alone 69 times, like it's been already. So it looks like some of them are actually different sizes now. Oh, no, I'm gonna miss that. I whiffed it. I whiffed it. Uh, I, I dodged it. Yeet. That one's always fun. Shit's wild. So, I don't know the name of this guest. Stella, come here. <laughs> the fan. No. I'm happy you found me, Munchkin, and I'm happy we've been able to help these poor souls in the factory. The workers deserve better, and the ruling class will never change. A bunch of swine they are. They are the same as us, you know. They just pretend to be superior only because their wallets are full and their houses are big. Yes, I know not all rich people deserve to die, but I've never accepted how the workers were treated. Not once. Exploited. Diminished. Just because of their birth. It's unfair and unjust. Mm -hmm. And I will fight for them until my last dying breath. Well, I'm sorry to say, but you've already kind of had that, haven't you? You want some, like... Want some fish? Mm -hmm. This is really good, Munchkin. You know, I'm a simple person, and simple people love plain dishes. Mm -hmm. Unpretentious. Sh simple food. I, I, I'm not certain unpretentious is the right word. But okay. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Good. I needed that. Look at that face. Astrid is her name. Nice. We stand Astrid. Uh, didn't we give her that last time? Uh, no, we did not. 
Every time I give her coffee, I want one my I want a cup of coffee myself. I did not forget about the kitchen at all. He's a little hungry. Have some berries. You have a gift. Oh, well, thanks. Well, I can make it up there. Nice. You were thinking. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt that I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health, little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there. I'm sure of it. And I never would have met you. She taught me. Not as one normally teaches, but by opening my eyes to what was already within. To the rich interior of life. Unquashed by the dragon. Unquashed by my father. To the interconnectedness of all things. To the universal love. This immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. Interesting. Have... Have some berries. Berries are cool. Man, I gotta water my food or my plants now. I was hoping the rainstorm did enough watering. <laughs> Alright, well at least we at least we got a carpet. Whoops. Always gotta water them carrots. Alright, so I guess we're with Olga now? Question mark? Where exactly are we? This isn't the normal music, I don't think. Olga's not here, dude. She left. I gotta make sure we're not, like, missing her. She's here. Oh, look at that! That turtle looks smug as shit. Ah, there we are. I'm happy, I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you, last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. Look at that turtle. There's no way that turtle is holding the grudge. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. You don't always make friends by being honest. Mm -hmm. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So, canoe under the bridge, as they say. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that's what they say. Sure. We'll go for it. Mm -hmm. Olga, you haven't changed a bit, old friend. She really did put on some weight. She's a huge. Still so green. Astrid, my dear old Astrid, I'm glad to see you, and glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Charon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail sh- Wait a minute, this turtle had a hairbrush! Why? <laughs> you can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid. 
What brings you here? Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up on things. Mm -hmm. How are you and your sisters doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. Irina is still focusing on her studies. And Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting. She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. That's adorable. A turtle knitting mitts. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Yes? You won't believe what I'd heard the other day. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again. Mm -hmm. What? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know what? Bob is not the father. Mm -hmm. No. You're kidding. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Oh well, oh well. She always knew how to lure them boys. Mm -hmm. And speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that. Mm -hmm. Gio? Giovanni is back? Who told you that? Mm -hmm. Where? When? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you? Interested? Mm -hmm. Yes! Huh? N no! No! I don't care what he does. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Mm -hmm. Olga dear, could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help would be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. But of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks on them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks or logs you used will have become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Well, now I'm concerned. Alright, hop on my back, little lady. What? Kind of with that. I kind of want to give her... Well, I already chopped up all my oak, which is kind of a waste. Let's make the limestone. Some copper. I guess we do quartz because that one's pretty hard to come by as well. Stella. Oh, shit. Are you done? Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry. I'll re-emerge as soon as what you've planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and of your passengers, Stella. Bye now. See you soon. Alright, Olga's cool. We stand. In this house, we stand, Olga. I enjoyed Olga's theme as well. That was that was really cute. What a bust. She had a lot to say, didn't she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't judge. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. I thought they were adorable. Soothing and kind, for sure. But scary. Maybe because they're so large? I think she should talk to someone about this. 
But enough about her. Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really appre appreciated. There's always so much going on, I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about that Giovanni character. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. New request bars of gold. What? Octa well, it's nighttime. Look at the weight. Dude, you're. I get if you're trying to show off and shit, you wiggle your ass like that, but damn. I don't think that's how I would feel comfortable walking everywhere. Yeah, let's. Let's just sleep until morning, see what uh, Astrid has to say. And then, uh, yeah. Mo get on with it. Move along. I don't understand how everything in this game is so pretty. Alright, where are we off to? Uh, let's go to the bus stop. Actually, before I pick a spot, let's... Icebreaker takes an iron ingot. Or 12 iron ingots. Linen fabrics, a spirit flower, and five slate. Hmm. 8,000 for the next one, and uh, I can actually upgrade the crafting table. I think I will do that. And then we'll go. I feel like I keep delaying, but that's okay. This isn't, we're not speedrunning this game. This isn't Path of Exile. We're taking our time on our ride. It's fine. Damn, I want coffee right now. Fuck! I kind of wish it would just like automatically water it when you plant them. But I guess that kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, hey, a valuable ring. Nice. I believe that was my last garden plant, a uh, garden seed. Yeah, that's it. Everyone slept in. Wake up. Stella. Good. I see the shark didn't gouge you too much with his delirious prices. I know how those people are. Always trying to scam you from your money. And don't you da dare be weak in front of them. They will smell it right away. Mm -hmm. Like the rabid dogs they are. Anyway, now that you've upgraded your blueprint table, I see that you can build a foundry. I could teach you a thing or two, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I come from a long line of metal workers. And as much as I have learned how to fight for the workers' rights in factories, I've also learned how to operate such heavy machinery. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's absolutely fantastic. It sure doesn't sound like it, and it's dirtier than you would expect. But the vibrations, the sounds, the heat. You know what? Be a dear and build one for us. It will come in handy in your travels, and I will have something to do with my hands. Alrighty then. How about healthy? Thank you, Munchkin. That would not be... What? Hugs should be fun for everybody. What is this? I will not interrupt you while you're crafting. Where is Uncle Atul? Is he in the wood shop? Is he fishing? Oh no, he's, he's chilling up there. I haven't really talked to him in a while. I got planks! Planks, planks, get your planks! I made some planks for you. Oh, he brought, he made maple and oak. Nice. He just loves berries.
Thanks. I love it. Thanks for the fabrics. Alrighty, Albert. Let's get, get going. Wait one second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it looming over me. I had a feeling he was leading into something. Yay! Don't list often. That just takes so much shit. I don't even know where to get that spirit flower yet. Oh. A crusher. Dude, I can make a cellar. Let's see what the plans are for a uh, an ironworks or whatever the fuck she wanted. A foundry. Oh, I have the stuff for it. That is so big. Where in the fuck am I supposed to put this? Let's see. Alrighty, how about that? That'll do, I guess. Simply beautiful. Probably should have thought about improving the kitchen before I made that. Oh, we're only one linen fabric away from that. Cool. Oh, how about a little snack, Stella? I'm feeling quite hungry. There. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? Do you smell these fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens. We're going to make some beautiful things in here. Let's go inside so I can explain how it works. Alright. What a machine. Oh my. Stella, this is a first class foundry you've got here. Even I myself couldn't have done better. Simply stunning. Let me run you through the basics. This is a complex machine and you have to be careful around it. First you have to load ore into the furnace. Then you have to throw coal in the burner to power it. The machine will then reach its working temperature. Then whatever ore you've deposited in the furnace will be smelted into ingots. The bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. You'll have to make sure the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well, you don't want to see this happen, Munchkin. And that it, that's it. I've told you all you needed to know. Have at it. Alrighty, well, thanks for the ore. But I... Fine, I'll take your thread. I gotta get the boat moving. We're losing daylight. Oh, she's back already? Well, I gotta do this before we get going. We're do we're getting the run around. That was a lot faster than I expected, actually. Uh, so for the kitchen, we're going to the loom. What's up? I'm doing it literally right now. So pushy. Oh, wait. Whiffed it. That is a slanted roof. It's the improved one. And the kitchen. Takes zero glimpse. 
We got 50 lightning bottles now. Nice. Looking good, Stella. Yeah. You got that done quick, Sprout. I only had to remind you like 17 times. Thanks for taking the time. A good kitchen is a good investment. You'll see. You won't regret it, I promise. Well, my stomach either. Thanks. Well, we'll investigate in that, that in a moment. There is something else I wanted to talk to you about. Look, I'm still really grateful for you having allowed me to reside in such a nice cabin. But I must admit, it's just a bit empty. You know me, I spent my life surrounded by pointless and tacky things. But in a house like this one, I believe we could do something very special. Unique. With class and coziness. What do you think? A little bit of improving might do the trick. Fabulous. I'll leave you to it. No rush. Well, thanks. Hey, you want some food? I'll give you some food. My sisters and I have been traveling the sea for ages. People of the ocean are in dire need of financial help. Did you know people have no savings? If you side with us, you're sure to earn more than your imagination can muster. We play the market of logs and ore. In no time your investment will be doubled, even tripled. Just jump on my back. Invest in our sailing enterprise. Well, you've convinced me. That was an impressive, uh... An impressive pitch, Olga, I must say. Yay! Alright, I'll take it. It's kind of hard to time the, uh, like the, the secondary backswing. Let's just do it again, shall we? Wait, do I have... I don't have any oak logs yet. Sure, we'll, we'll get more maple. Are you all done there? Alright, I'll see you later then. She moves... Uh, she works very quickly. Let me get the food going. Or the, the, the ship going, and then we'll do the food. Off to Alex, and then we'll go to an island. I wonder how many things you can mix coffee beans with. I thought those might have been fully grown. Not gonna lie, managing all these things in, in the limited time of a day is a little uh, overwhelming sometimes, but we'll see uh, if I can't get better at it. All right, oh shit, we got two, we got two spots. Let's do uh, raspberries. I don't think I have any other fruit. What, can they only be the same type? I didn't mean to do that, shit. Yes, Alex, I hear you. Give me a moment. Uh, golden grain with tons of different things. Sometimes corn can eat fat and ground, okay. We got fish and carrots. We'll try that. Yes, Alex, if you would be so kind as to... Uh, do you have anything to say? Nope. You would be so kind as to bring me back over here. That would be great. <laughs> the magical...
clapping seal. Thank you. Timer didn't really uh, increase at all. Whee! Uh, is it too dark for navigating? I want to get away from Alex so the music stops. Shit. We're almost away from the music. I hope. Uh, so that needs a maple plank and fabric. Maple plank and fabric. I already made the wall, the wall decorations. Uh, hanging lights requires fire glow, whatever that is. Uh, that is the tools house. Shower is linen fabric and slate. Oak, linen fabric, and aluminum. Yeah, bottled ectoplasm. Oh, man. Ash. Oh, hey. There's your crystal table. Monstera Deliciosa. What? And there's the Iwashima this, uh, countryside. Nice. Nice. Requires oak logs. Rip. Wait, is she sleeping? You're in bed early, Summer. Okay, what do we got? The mysterious dude. Ah, yes, Booyah Bays. I think that's how you say that. What if I do fish? Plus turnip. Is it the same thing? I don't know, but we'll go to sleep and find out in the next video. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and uh, hit that like and come see me in the next one. Yeet!